What's up guys, you're watching Dan's How To Videos and today is set up and installation of the Apple TV. Now the things you're gonna need is the power adapter which came with the Apple TV. You're also going to need an HDMI cable. Now you can pick these up on Amazon as I said in the previous video. The link for this particular HDMI cable will be in the description down below. You can get these at any electronic store, Best Buy, Future Shop if you have those in your area. Now, you'll also need your remote here, and we're going to go through the hardware installation process first, so let's get started. The hardware setup is really easy. All we're going to need is our HDMI cable, as well as the power cord. You're going to need the Apple TV, obviously, and if you're choosing to use the Ethernet wire to uh, connect to the internet, then you're going to need that. We're going to do this through Wi-Fi, so we're not going to use that for this particular installation. The first thing you're going to need to do is locate your HDMI port on the back of your monitor. Then you're going to need to take your HDMI cable and just simply plug it into the port you want. The next step is simply connecting the other end of the HDMI cable to the back of the Apple TV. Once your HDMI cable is connected, you can go ahead and connect the power cord to the back of the Apple TV. And then obviously plug the other end into the wall outlet. Now once you've set up your hardware, all you need to do to turn on your Apple TV is simply press the middle button on your remote or the play button. It'll turn on. This one actually turned on by itself and it went into the settings tab. So now on the remote you have these knobs up here and these are going to be your directional buttons. You have your menu button here which will open up various things and you have your play and pause. And you also have the middle button here which is your select. So. We're gonna go welcome to Apple TV, select your language to continue. So we're gonna press the middle button here to select English and it'll move us along. Now it's gonna ask you to set up your Wi-Fi connection and this is a must. If you're not using a cable, you're gonna to need to go to your Wi-Fi connection, log in using your password. So we'll go into mine right now and you'll put in your password. Once you've got your password entered, just use the scrolling tab here to go to submit. And again, you're gonna press the middle button to select it. Now if everything went smoothly, you'll run to this page here and go ahead and read this. You can help Apple improve its products and user support by having your Apple TV automatically send Apple information. You can choose to do this or not. It's up to you. I'm just going to go ahead and push no thanks for now. And you are now connected to the Apple TV. And these are all the apps that you have access to. You have movies, TV shows, music, computers. And uh, everything here that you want to do or need to do with Apple TV is available to you. Now there's a lot of things you can play around with in the settings tab here. We're going to get into those in future how-to videos. The first thing I would suggest you guys do though is go into the general tab and uh, check if your software is up to date. And if it's not, it'll let you know and you can go ahead and update it. So as you can see here, my Apple TV is up to date. Anyway guys, hopefully you found this helpful and useful and enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit the like button down below or on your screen. Subscribe up top for more how-to videos on the Apple TV as well as other tech videos. Thanks for watching.